five of every ten malaria deaths in the world are recorded in Uganda. For a fact, Uganda holds the sixth position among the countries with the highest burden of the deadly fever globally. A 2018 World Health Organization report shows that five countries accounted for nearly half of all malaria cases worldwide. Nigeria at 25%, Democratic Republic of the Congo at 11%, Mozambique at 5%, India with 4%, and Uganda at 4%. Joan Nalubega, a scholar at the Social Innovation Academy in Impiji town, is one of the many Ugandans that have suffered from malaria not once or twice. Her experience inspired her innovative idea that is now beginning to gain popularity. It was a funny conversation reminding ourselves. I didn't show them that I'm hurt or somehow affected somehow about it. But then when I went back to my bed, I thought about it. And I remembered how sickly I was when I was little. I was very, very sickly. I used to suffer from malaria almost every week at the orphanage. And at some point, I was even separated from the children to the sick bay. Nalubega says she took time to study about the disease to understand how she would be able to help. So this, this time was not learning about just malaria as a disease, but was learning about the cases, about mosquito repellents, about um, most especially about the natural repellents, because at least I knew the perspective or the fear of people about chemical things. After more than a year, she developed a sample product of a mosquito repellent soap. We developed our final product uh, or prototype in end of 2017. But so then we started working on the certifications and we got our certification in April 2018. My aim of the product to is for the low income earners because like in rural communities. So you have the sensitive skin product and it's a like they all have the same mosquito repellent components. It's just the skincare ingredients that are different or even the fats that we use. So the one for the sensitive product is uh, a product that is we made for uh, people with sensitive skins who get irritated from cosmetic products. So we really put a lot of skincare products. And then the normal skin is can be used just by anyone. Uh, if you like my skin, if I don't, ha if you don't have any allergic things to anything. Nalubega employs 26 people to make the soap. They use herbs and spices like cinnamon, lavender, peppermint, and citronella that are natural mosquito repellents. She weighs the ingredients and mixes them with oils such as coconut, olive, vegetable, and sunflower. For now, we have uh, women who grow the lemon grass within this area where we are having and we have uh, a machine that we use it to extract the oils this is day two of their production and the head of production here shafiq says measurements are critical and at the end of the stage up to a thousand tablets of soap are produced here we are looking at giving quality to our customers so in 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 other way we are looking at if you're buying a soap that is a hundred grams it's supposed to be 100 grams. So this is a product that has been developed with a customer from, uh, from stage one of mixing and everything. And I realize that uh, it's only this size that someone can handle and it is easy to move with. The team has been able to find market for their product. We work with hospitals, some local shops that we really trust. We need to build a relationship with them to, so that they provide the product. According to the product description, a single use of the Eugenics soap protects the user for up to six hours. They have, however, halted their marketing and sales to some of their contacts. We paused uh, so that we are able to be back on track and we have created maybe a higher market to see that we have, maybe we double the products that we can cross-finance before we really market so much more in the local communities. We want to increase our production capacity because right now we have, uh, especially in the local communities, we have a more high market than we, ha we can be able actually to fulfill. But then in the commercial market, we're also working on marketing more so that because the more we sell to the commercial market, the more we subsidize. Nalubega says they have encountered some challenges in their three years of production. When you look for support from people that have the experience or that really matter for your business and 
they're actually the people that are going to ask you for things that they're supposed to actually help you get. Her dream is to reduce malaria in Uganda by 20% over the next five years. Walter Mwesije, NTV. Mm. We are two centimeters, so they are... Uh,